Kathy Williams and I the Associate Curator of Public Programs and Community Engagement. Um, and we're so excited about having Dan Jones and Blake Brown tonight to perform in our special, I mean, in our current permanent collection, New Symphony of Time. Um, and so we like to give a special thanks to our sponsors, St. Andrews. Um, and I'm going to turn it over to Jessica, who's our amazing co-curator of this event, to give you more details about the artists and what they're in store for tonight. We're really excited about seeing y'all in here. I hope you enjoy the show. For those of y'all I haven't met, my name is Jessica Nelson, and I'm the organist and choir master at St. Andrew's Cathedral. And one of my favorite things I get to do is partner with this art museum to bring different things to you. And I'm particularly excited about tonight's program. Um, it's all female composers, and I have never heard any of these pieces before. So I'm really pleased about that. I'm excited. Um, next month, you'll hear uh, music by Shao Lee, who is a violist, and Michael Munchman, who's a pianist, um, which will also be fantastic. <coughs> and also, because this space is somewhat intimate, which is a fancy way to say small, um, <laughs> if, if y'all would be mindful of turning off your cell phones and other things that make noise, that would be really fantastic. Okay. Appreciate it so much. So thank y'all again for being here. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you. 
here. Um, we're so pleased to be able to present all this music to you. Um, you'll see in your program the next pieces are by Florence Price, who's really popular right now. Um, a lot of her music was lost for a long time, and we've rediscovered all of it, and so everyone wants to play her music, and it's so great. So we're looking forward to that. And the piece after that, I wanted to say a couple things about the Akwawaha by Marion Bauer. I, I hope you'll have read the inscription printed on the first page of your program to give you some insight into the piece, but a story that inscription doesn't tell is that starting in the late 19th century and into the sort of mid to late 20th century, the Akwawaha River was a victim to severe pollution from steamboats and dams and agricultural pollution. And uh, when Maud Powell took her excursion up the, uh, up the river, which is what inspired that piece she wrote, um, she almost certainly would have experienced the river as it was beginning to show signs of that pollution. And whether or not she was aware of that, I don't know, but I think it, it paints the piece in a more sobering light for us now. Um, and there's another woman in this story, uh, an environmental activist and scientist from Southeast Florida by the name of Marjorie Harris Carr. And she fought for conservation of the Akawaha through a number of organizations that she founded. And um, through her efforts, she thwarted plans to build a canal, which would have certainly destroyed the river, and just um, gained conservation, um, convinced the, the state of Florida to really take a look at the damage that it was doing. And um, activists are still pushing for conservation, but the, the situation's much improved from her day. And so we can be grateful to her for that. But knowing all this, I think the piece can really speak to you and I. Um, first of all, as Mississippians, surrounded by our own melancholic landscape, I think we can understand the experiences and feelings and images in this piece, perhaps more intimately than some people. And for those of us Jacksonians, we know the effects of water pollution. <laughs> so this is a piece for us, as much as it is for the Floridians on the Aquawaka River. So hope you enjoy the next two composers, Florence Price and Marion Bauer.